Hello everyone, welcome back to an, the second episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, so when we last left off, we went through the tutorial area, and now we find ourselves on Destiny Island with a bunch of stuff that we gotta do. So first and foremost, I'm pretty sure, if in case you don't remember, we will head back and talk to Kyrie real quick. So can you gather the rest of the supplies? Sora, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, I heard you. Okay, look, here's what you need to find. Two logs, one cloth, one rope, and bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. I'm counting on you. So yeah, we need to find a few certain items, and I'm pretty sure you're not blind to see there's a log right here. So let's grab it. That's what it looks like to grab an item in the game. Uh, there is a cloth. Now, we could go the long way, and I, I guess I could show you the long way. The long way is walking all the way over here. You gotta, like, jump up here or walk up the steps. You gotta... Climb all these steps, and then you gotta take this ladder? Oh my god, that's such a pain, right? Well, in Kingdom Hearts 1, you can lift up barrels, as we learned. Not when it's close to a wall. And uh, we can also throw things, and it lands right there. This is a little speedrun trick you could do. If you want to try to impress your friends, you can uh, just grab the barrel, hop over here, and then, there you go. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, the one of the many things you get to learn when learning a speedrun to a game. It's very cool. Inside this little hut, we have a couple of tree-like toppings over here, and we have the cloth, which is, you know, pretty pretty easy to find. Uh, there is a little thing I can do over here as well. If you jump onto this tree, and then you jump over here, oh, okay, we're not going to make it because uh, the, <laughs> the tree ate my jump. There's no other way to put it. It just did. And we come over here. Here's the rope. Well, we found everything we need to, but, you know, there's other characters on the island. And I feel like it'd be fun to talk to them, so let's do that. Hey, Sora, you, feel lucky today? you know what? I am feeling lucky today. This is Tidus, I'm, I'm sure I pointed out in the last episode. If you talk to him again, though. Hey, Sora, feel enough for a little competition? You asked for it. All right, let's go. You actually unlock battles on Destiny Island. Yes, that's right. You can fight characters on Destiny Island. Titus here uh, is very resemblant of, uh, like, he resembles very much his Final Fantasy X counterpart. The same way he, hold, he holds his weapon the same way. He even strikes the same way with the jumping slash. I'm trying to get him to do his other ability. There's the other one. That's one of his other attack moves. I think that little taunt that he does is also in Final Fantasy X, but I'm unsure. Anyway, let's battle Titus. Oh, actually, I guess, you know, I haven't mentioned that yet. In Kingdom Hearts, you could do a thing, you could do what's called a parry, which is when you basically clank your weapon with your opponents. Oh, I should also mention, uh, if you do go into the water, I believe that counts as round over, and you will actually lose. <laughs> so let's try to get away from the water a little bit. Oh, he's actually tired now? Okay, well, let's just smack him up a little bit. Fight! I was say, fight should be done. And there we go, we beat Titus. As you saw, we got two experience points from this fight, which is, you know, pretty good. And you, I think you get uh, two tech points if you parry um, Titus' attacks. So you can, you know, get a little bit of level up there. We need 14 to level up. Uh, but let's talk about, let's talk to this uh, girl at the end of the uh, little dock over here. Well, I'm sure anyone who's played Final Fantasy VIII is no surprise to who that is. That is Selfie from Final Fantasy VIII. I believe she's a fan beloved character of those who love the game, but honestly, I don't know many Final Fantasy VIII fans, so I can't really say. Anyway, let's talk to Selfie. What are you up to these days? We never see you. Hey, you wanna wanna duel? All right, now you're talking. Okay, don't go back. Selfie, same thing. She uses a skipping rope uh, instead of her uh, classic, like what is it, nunchuck she uses in Final Fantasy VIII. I, you know, I'll actually say it. I think Selfie is actually a tighter, a tougher fight than Titus. Her hitboxes can be a little bit wonky if, like, you know, if you're trying to, like, play the range game. She could just, like, jump in on you. <laughs> no pun intended, because she's using a jump rope. Uh, but, you know, like, her attacks could just flail around. Uh, these enemies, uh, well, these enemies. Your friends are really hard to hit with air combos, as you can see. Like, Sora will always do the spinning motion, and it could just get, like, really tiresome. There you go. Can't believe she lost. I can, though, because I'm, I'm just better than you. I'm sorry. And, of course, we're training from Final Fantasy X as well. We got the classic. I think everyone kind of loves this guy a little bit. Waka. Hey, With the classic, hey, what's happening, mon? All right, so, Waka. Yo, yo, flew around. Yeah, sure, let's play. 
Waka plays a lot differently than everyone else on the island. He shoots his blitz balls, which, yes, it's an actual blitz ball. Okay, I'm, I'm terrible at the timing. So, Waka is a really interesting fight. Not only is he easier to hit because he is bigger, but if you noticed, you can hit the balls back, and for every ball you hit back, you earn one EXP. When you get too close, he will swing. So, you get your distance, you hit the blitz ball back, you go in for the counter attack again. Maybe get like a, in a hit or two before you can like swing back. That's his powered up shot. If you hit that, I believe you get two. I'm not too sure. I'd have to like slow down the, the footage to look that up. But yeah, there we go. Every time you do knock a ball back at him, it does take damage. It does uh, deal damage to him. So that is pretty good to know. And if you look at our EXP, we're actually missing five, which I think is, I didn't plan that, but that's actually perfect. Because what we're going to do now. Oh yeah, uh, something I can mention a little bit. Um, I'll showcase this more, but Keyblade swinging can be used for movement as well. As you notice, Sora will kind of hop forward every time you do a swing, so if you just want to try to get some extra space, you can do that. You can also swing onto areas like this to make Sora land faster. It's a little bit of like movement stuff that really doesn't matter, but you know, I still think it's cool. <laughs> so we come to the little secluded island over here, and as you can tell, we have a log that we can pick up. Perfect, perfect. You can also swim into the ocean, but we're not going to do that right now because we don't really need to. We will be doing it a bit later. Uh, and then we can come up here and talk to Riku. What's up, man? Do you ever get... Did you get everything you need for the raft? I gave my stuff to Kairi. Hey, Sora, how about a quick round? Grab your sword. Okay, you're on. This one decides the champion. So, ready or not, here we go. That's right, you can fight Riku already. Can you imagine... This, this fight is always so cool. So, Riku has a really interesting uh, pattern to him. Uh, I'm never too sure what the pattern is. But, the in, the way he retaliates against Sora's attacks is always different. Like, uh, I think if you hit him for a full combo and then hit him for one, he'll always retaliate. If you hit him like with two and then two, I think he retaliates. And then, like, if you hit just like, a three-hit combo... He will uh, just kind of retaliate again. There we go. That's what I was trying to aim for. I was trying to get him back to the towards the island. Because much like Soul Calibur, uh, you can ring out <laughs> in this game. Uh, Riku can't because, you know, uh, why would he? He's the character we're fighting. Uh, Riku will also taunt Sora every now and then. See, there's the two hit to the retaliation I was talking about. And, uh, yeah. This fight's not too hard. It is a lot longer than the other Destiny, Child, uh, the Destiny Children fights. Uh, but, you know, it has to be. He's your best friend, you know? You gotta make the fight hard. Oh, he got a good hit there. And there we go. We get five experience points for fighting. We got our strength up, so if you're fighting him again, the, the round would probably take a lot, you know, a lot, uh, a lot quicker than normal. Now the score is one to zero, and we get a potion. That's right. You can fight him, and you get a potion. I don't think you get a potion every time, but, uh, yeah, you can do that. We are level four, and the next level we need is 44. You could theoretically grind... Uh, Waka and all of them to get to a level that you're comfortable with. I've definitely done it in the past. I think I've gotten up to like level 10 once because I was just so bored. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it though. It is very hard. It's very tedious. And in case you guys don't know, there is someone who already did that. He went to he got to level 100 on Destiny Islands. It took him such a long time. We're luckily we're not here to do that. We are just going to go give our stuff to Kyrie. Well, uh, this is an interesting camera angle. I'll say the least. Uh, thanks, Sora. I found something tonight, too. Here, it's yours. You got a high potion. I'm tired. I want to call it a day? Not yet. I, I, I at least want to get a good camera angle. There we go. Tired. Want to call it a day? Yes. Let's go home. Let's just relax after a hard day's work. Okay. It's getting late. We'll finish up tomorrow. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. It's just, I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. 
then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Hey there, Donald. Good morning. We got a problem, Goofy. But don't tell anyone. Ooh. Queen Minnie? Not even the queen. Daisy? No! It's top secret. Oh, good morning, ladies. What? Oh, that classic Donald. You gotta love him. Such a goofball. Also, holy shit, did you forget that Disney characters are in this game? Don't worry, me too. It is day two on Destiny Islands. Now, uh, I've been kind of considering how to do all this because there is a lot of stuff that you could do right now, but I feel like it's not fair if I just collect everything without kind of, you know, doing a little bit of the story. So, let us go do that now. Let's go talk to Kyrie because now we can enter the cove. This is the second area of Destiny Islands, and it's a really cool looking spot. I mean, there's like, dark, like you know, it's like on the other side of the island. There's nothing but like mountaintops and stuff. It's really cool. We got this cool little like lighthouse over here. Not lighthouse, but like a, you call it like a, like, oh my God, outpost? Yeah, outpost. I think that's the right word. And if you hop on top of the outpost, and this is kind of something that I love about Kingdom Hearts 1's level design, is that hopping up here actually reveals that there is a treasure chest, and there seems to be a whole bunch of other stuff too. We can ride this down, but uh, we can't, well it's like a, what is it, a zip line? We can ride the zip line down, but you're probably wondering, how do you get to the chest up there? The answer is very simple. The answer is we take this box over here, 
and we need to use what we learned before. Remember how you could pick up a barrel and toss it? You do the same thing with the wooden box. Except be careful, because if you throw it on the wall, it can break, I believe. So you hop on top of the box, and we head into the hole, and inside this chest, we find a protect chain. This is an accessory. So right now, Sora can hold two, and as we can see, we actually have three AP, so that's really good, because that'll be very useful. Uh, so if we put this protect chain on, it gives us one more stat uh, to defense, which is very good in my opinion. And uh, there's nothing really else here that we need to get, so let's go talk to Kyrie, who is right over here on the raft that we are building. The raft's almost ready. All we have to do now is load it with food. Hey, have you seen Riku? I have not seen Riku. Uh, is that... Uh, okay, so we actually have to go talk to Riku first. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I actually know where Riku is. He's uh, right over there. <laughs> He's right over there. We missed him. If you don't look to the, if you don't look to your right, you're gonna miss him. There is an actual reason why we have to start with Riku first, because that actually unlocks a trigger in which you get like an item. Blah blah blah. Hey Sora, our raft still needs a name. Let's see. How about High Wind, which is a reference to the airship from Final Fantasy VII? What would you call it? Excalibur is the name that you are just given. And I've always personally liked the name Excalibur. I think it is really, really, really cool. However, considering how Destiny really takes... Like, it's kind of an important factor in Kingdom Hearts. Like, the, the terms of Destiny and stuff always kind of taking a certain role within the story of Kingdom Hearts is always kind of stuck with me. And we are on Destiny Island, so... I think Destiny is just a good name for a ship. Another name I always give it was Serenity from the show Firefly. But I feel like Destiny can work really well, and that's the answer I'm going to go with. But you can choose whatever you want. It really changes nothing other than the name of what you are going to name your gummy ships and stuff. Let's hit that, which is something we'll talk about a little bit later. Don't worry. Me? Well, um, Destiny. Hey, how about uh, the usual? <laughs> Let's do it. You guys at it again? All right, I'll be the judge. The usual rules apply. Take any route you want. It's okay, game. Take your time. First one to tag that tree and make it back here wins. If I win, I'm captain. And if you win, I get to share the pow with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a pow with Kyrie. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, on my count. There are a lot of ways you could do this race. I'm going to do the way I know best, which is... Okay, yes, it's from the speedrun. Don't judge me. If you jump down here, you can easily run across the ground while Riku is going to be running up across the wooden structures. And, you know, you could head up top, but I'm just going to head down. This is one of the easiest ways I know how to do things here. Run across a little water over here. If you do take the, uh, the, 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 the zip line, it will kind of end you up around here or around on top of the trees. Come up here, you can't swing your sword, it's very important, so if you want to use the momentum thing like I was teaching you, you just simply can't. You kind of have to work your way around Riku over here, hop on top of the trees. I'm not going to make that, it's okay. Uh, as long as I'm quick about it, he will not beat me. <laughs> it doesn't really matter who wins or loses here, the outcome is kind of the same. Uh, but you do get an item if you win, so, you know, we at least want to try to keep that happening. Without further ado, we take our final steps to victory. Now the score is 2-0. to zero. You obtained a pretty stone. Man, lighten up. It's just a name, after all. Fun fact, in the standard version of the game, where you play in, like, standard definition, that's an actual cutscene, I think. Uh, like, the, the bars appear, if I remember correctly, but you can't really tell that in the HD version, because obviously everything has been upscaled to high definition. So, uh... A little thing I should mention, by the way, uh, with that race, with Riku here, you actually can't fight him again, if I remember correctly. Uh, you will only have to do the race, and yeah, it kind of sucks, but, you know, it, 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 it it's whatever. Let's talk to Kyrie again. Today we collect our provisions for our trip. Let's see, Sora, you're looking for one seagull egg, three mushrooms, two coconuts, three fish. And fill this up with drinking water, but not from the ocean. Received an empty bottle. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. 
Okay, well, I pretty much know where everything is, and believe it or not, we can actually do one of our checks right here. Coconuts can be found in palm trees that look like this. Uh, now, these are RNG. These are... Oh, well, okay, we got the yellow coconut right away. Uh, <laughs> good to know. So, if we hit this again... I got both of them in the incredible luck. Uh, let's try to hit a regular coconut. Oh, my... Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. So, as you can... Okay, yeah, let's just pick an extra coconut. Why not? Uh, the brown coconuts are not what you're going to be picking up. The yellow ones are. I've never gotten three in a row. That's pretty incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, there is stuff to do here, uh, like the mushrooms over here. Now, normally, to get over this boulder, you have to push it. Let me show you a fun way instead. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't I hit this now? This is like my favorite trick to do. Why can't I get it? Oh no! I promise it's funny. There we go. The rock has a breaking animation and I don't know why. Like, it's kind of insane. You can find a mushroom in here. That's the whole reason you get it. Because normally any, any person would just like push the rock out of the way. So why that particular rock has like a breaking animation, I'll never understand. But I love it. The other mushroom we can get is over here. Now, we are going to be on our way to get our third one alongside everything else. Something to note is that uh, there's two places to get your drinking water. Like Kyrie said, you don't want to get in the ocean. Uh, you can come down here to get it from this little, like, well or sp spring, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is well spring the word I'm trying to think of? I don't know. You can get it from here, but you can get it from another location as well, which is where we're going to be going. The same thing goes for the fish. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there is fish that you can get out in this water as well but we're going to be getting it on the first side of the island because it's a lot easier i forgot that was not broken uh yeah so let's head back to the seashore and let's start collecting so one of the first things we can get is the seagull uh the seagull egg because it is right over here but the other thing we can get is the drinking water which we can get right here pretty simple pretty standard the seagull egg is on top of here. You can also get coconuts from these trees as well. You can get them from anywhere. Uh, but the seagull egg that you see here, you can only find here. Uh, so, you know, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, let's go get the fish next. Something that you could do that I didn't know you could do for a long time is you can actually lock on to the fish. So, if you're having a hard time finding them, just lock on, swim to them, and everything will be A-OK. -okay. The other fish shall be around here. So normally when I start, when I play this game, like casually or in a speed run, uh, when you start here, you just like kind of go down and catch this fish right away and then go get the others. Something else that's pretty interesting is that if you talk to every one of the Destiny Island children again, Well, that's just god dang adorable. I, I like that idea. I really do. Uh, Titus is not in his normal spot, by the way. He will be on the island where Riku was. We can also talk to Waka over here. Me and Titus, we are going to do a little exploring today. You know, to the secret place at the base of that tree. There's got to be something there, yeah? Secret base? Well, that sounds cool. We're going to have to check that out after. Oh, something I actually haven't shown off, and I guess I can show off here. I, d I did it outside of the recording so I could save the game. There is a save point in here, so if you want to walk into the shed, heal some HP or whatever, feel free. You can. Well, without further ado, let's go talk to our friend Titus over here. I think you've gotten stronger, but odds are you're still no match for Riku. We took him on three to one last time. He whipped us all. Well, I guess Kyrie can always count on him. Even in Kingdom Hearts, Titus is a little shithead. Uh, yeah, uh, this dude just said, I, I've beaten, if I'll have you know, the score is 2-2-0, two, two, sir. You know what? Just to prove, just to prove a point. You three against me. And yes, you can fight all three of them at once. So you're probably wondering, who do you take out first? In my opinion, you want to take out Waka. This dude is the biggest problem. Like I said, Selfie's got some, like, pretty jank hitboxes that you can hit. 
But chances are you're going to be hitting all of them because they're just going to like come into your view without, you know, without really caring about you. Waka will run away, which is why... Oh my god, sir. Please chill out. <laughs> Waka will run away, which is why I always say to try to get him first, because this dude will snipe you from the back. If you're playing on proud mode, these balls actually do quite a bit of damage. So, uh, you know, I always think it's smart to, like, try to get in, try to hit them all as much as you can. And, uh... We actually can't see their HP. Oh my god, I might, I might actually die because okay, I I I think I did this wrong. Uh, don't 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 take my word for it. Never go for Waka first. Okay, I'm gonna use this potion, which is something I never thought I had to do. <laughs> oh my god, Waka! It's only because Waka keeps moving. Okay, Waka's dead. Let's just focus on the other guys. Uh, I'm gonna focus on Tidus X. Uh, this little shit's gotten hit like uh, hits on me that he really shouldn't have. Uh, I'm also going for aerial combos, which, like, I probably really shouldn't do, to be honest, but there's so much fun to land. There we go. Okay, we only got one left. And it is technically the easiest one. Uh, she will run away a lot. You can, like, kind of loop her, I think, if I do it right. Okay, no, she, she will at some point just, like, dodge out of it. I, I say with much uncertainty <laughs> oh my god girl just like can you stand still oh i forgot about that if you parry her her like skip rope hits her in the head i forgot about that that's cute uh yeah we beat you and i got the potion back so i guess it's not all bad we have another one we don't you know we don't oh, i don't want to use that i want to put him in fucking breath there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we fought them all three on one, and uh, I think we have everything. Uh, no, uh, that's not right. Um, we don't have a mushroom. We're missing one. And I really don't think it's here. I mean, we kind of looked everywhere, so... How about we go check out that secret place that Waka was talking about? It's quite literally called the secret place. As we head down this tunnel, the tunnel, this tunnel, secret place is no joke. There are a ton of markings here, which may or may not allude to a few things happening into the future, or not. You know who knows? It's also got some fun little Easter eggs. There's like some weird like fish thing happening here. Uh, ooh, what's up there? I didn't actually ever look up here. We got, like, uh, the kids, like, Sora, Riku, uh, fighting a monster to save Kairi. And this little thing is, uh, kind of interesting looking. We'll talk a little bit about that later. If you look over here, we kind of have, like, a Donald Duck looking thing with a Chocobo, which is really cute. And there is an X through it, though. And sadly, to this day, I don't think Chocobos have ever been in Kingdom Hearts. And that's really sad. We got some, like, a little kid standing on top of, like, a, a roof. We got, like, a little bear looking thing i don't i don't know what this is we got like sora being like a little hero or a pirate or something uh which is really interesting and really cute and a little nod to something uh we got like a little houses over here we got like a lot of neat designs over here that if you really pay attention there's some cool stuff that you can find here little little secrets and stuff uh and yeah that's really about it but i'm really not seeing oh that, that that's uh that's a mean looking vulture a uh, little Kyrie thing, I think, down here. It's adorable. Oh! Well, there's the mushroom. It's next to this cute little doodle. Let's pick it up. No joke, the hitbox for that mushroom is actually stupid. to see the door to this world. Huh? This world has been connected. Well, 
What are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Nothing weird happened, everything is fine. Yeah, this whole thing is kind of a mystery. Nothing really out of the ordinary, but how did he get there, here? That's what you're questioning, not the giant fucking door? The, 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 the hooded man? Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a weird cutscene, isn't it? And I bet you guys who play Kingdom Hearts are kind of chuckling right now, and don't worry about it. <laughs> but yes, it is a very mysterious figure that I think is even mentioned a little bit later in uh, one of the journal entries that will be getting uh, throughout the game that just kind of calls him a mysterious figure, if I understand correctly, if I remember correctly. Yeah, really interesting fellow. I don't know what the hell he's doing here or freaking a 14-year-old out, but you know. Live your life, I guess. Anyway, we got everything that we need, so let's walk to Kyrie. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're going to end this episode with the ending of the... Uh, you know, we're just heading to the next day, seeing what happens. It's only been 30 minutes. I think we got a little time to spare. Oh, Kyrie's in a different position. Interesting. This? I'm making a necklace of, of Thalassa shells. I know how to say that word. In the old days, sailors were... Sailors always wore Thalassa shells. They were supposed to ensure a safe voyage. See this? It's a charm to help us find each other if we ever get separated. The three of us will always be together. That scene was not originally in the original Kingdom Hearts 1. It's a final mix exclusive, fun fact. Thanks, Sora. I found something today, too. Here, it's yours. It's another high potion. Nice. Tired. Wanna call it a day? Yeah, I think I'm pretty good for calling it a day. We don't really have anything else to do, so let's go home. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. We should rest up. You know, Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm. You okay? Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Huh? <laughs> Just kidding! What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. Now I'm ready! No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course! That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. What could this mean? It means we'll 
just have to trust the king. Gorge, I sure hope he's all right. Yeah, I guess. Don't worry, we'll find the king and the king. Thank you, both of you. Dashing, can you take care of them? Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here! Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please, help the king. Gorge, Jiminy, your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Right. World border. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? Can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. A storm? Well, well, these shadows re creatures return once again. Let's give them a piece of our mind. E what I would say if our sword affected them, but they actually don't. Pretty interesting, to be honest. Yeah, our sword doesn't affect these things, so we just gotta kind of run away. Uh, we gotta look for Riku and Kairi, so... Oh, Riku's right over there. Okay, maybe he knows where Kairi is. Let's just try to get to him without having to fight these things and take any unnecessary damage. Riku, buddy, you good? Where's Kyrie? I thought she was with you. The door is open. What? The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. What are you talking about? We 
gotta find Kyrie. Kyrie's coming with us. Once we step through, we might not be able to come back. We may never see our parents again. There's no turning back. But this may be our only chance. We can't let fear stop us. I'm not afraid of the darkness. Riku. Blade? Wow, what an interesting name, I guess. Is that the weapon we have? I mean, of course it is. You know what the Keyblade is. And the Keyblade can also attack these shadow creatures. That's right, we finally have a way to fight these things again. I'm not, I'm not gonna play everything up. Come on, we, we know what the Keyblade is. It's, it's a, it's a darky-looking weapon that's a key. Come on, come on, come on. Also, I gotta say, I love the cutscene with Sora and Riku there. Because it kind of shows how Riku's just willing to get off this island no matter the cases. He even says he's not afraid of darkness. And it looks like Sora's a little terrified about, about that. Which is, like, such an interesting thing. I love the way that they build the characters in this, in this game series. And it's subtle things like that that really make it really hit home hard. Well, if for some reason you fight these things a lot and you take some damage, you can head back into the Siege Side Shack to heal up any HP that you may have taken. I'm only missing 20 EXP to level up, but I'm not going to grind it. There's really no point. I'm a pretty decent level. We leveled up from fighting the kids before. We're kind of okay. I also do not think... You, yeah, you also cannot head to the other side of the island. We just gotta kinda explore and find out where to go. Oh. Well, there's a huge door, so let's go, you know, figure that out, I guess. You can come here before, but if you did, uh, the, the door would just say you couldn't open it. And inside, where you, well, it's the secret place. Maybe Kyrie hid herself away here. Kyrie! Sora... Oh, son of a gun. That's right, it's Darkseid again. And uh, let me tell you, he's just as pissed off as he was the first time you fought him. The strategy is going to kind of remain the same. Try to hit him as much as you can. I will be aiming for the head. Uh, God God willing. <laughs> uh, oh my Oh my God, this dude's aim-botting me. What is this? Oh my lord. Okay, well, this isn't going as planned. The Keyblade does have a little bit more of a reach than our shield did, but you're still not going to be hitting him from down here. Take a couple of swings in him while he gets ready to punch the ground. And as he's in the position, let's just try to hit him as much as we can. I'm going to try to initiate that technique I was telling you about, how if you time your hits just right, you can get a faster combo, which it appears like we did. And I think, actually, if memory serves correctly, he's almost down. May not be for a couple more hits. I think we'll get him in the next round. I'm not going to focus on the little shadow creatures right now. We are just going to focus on the giant boy because now he does an ultimate attack. Now, I'm actually going to let this play out just in case you guys have never seen this before because normally the fight would be done by now. When he puts his hand into the ground, he releases this dark energy ball kind of thing. And when he does, it unleashes. Come on. Do it. Come on. Come on. Aiming now. Okay, do I have to seriously look up? 
Dark energy pellets will stop falling from the sky. These will basically target you, like where you're standing. So be careful, keep dil like be diligent, try to get around. You can knock them away with your keyblade, so it's you know just time your strikes really well. Try to see as they're coming down for you, and just keep on swinging until you win slow mo slice. You know, I bet you that, uh... Oh, what do you know, you big coyote? Ooh, what do I know? Hmm. Come on, Pluto! dream. This is totally weird. I'm in another world. Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Traverse Town, the first place of many that we'll be visiting alongside Sora's journey. Now, I didn't know that was a ledge you can grab onto. <laughs> there is plenty to do, plenty to see, and plenty to talk to. But first, we're going to advance the story a little bit just so I can get ready to end the episode. It seems like uh, this shop is pretty big. Maybe someone here has some info. Hey there, how can I... Uh, it's only a kid. I'm not a kid. And the name's Sora. Okay, okay, simmer down. So why the long face, Sora? You lost or something? No, well, yeah, maybe. Where are we? Huh? Traverse Town? So, Gramps, is this really another world? Don't call me Gramps. The name's Sid. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about, but this sure ain't your island. Hmm, I guess I better start looking for Riku and Kairi. Well, good luck with whatever it is you're doing. If you ever run into trouble, you can come to me. I'll look out for you. Final Fantasy veteran fans will know that is, in fact, Sid from Final Fantasy VII. Making a slight appearance. Yeah, he's not. That's, you, th you thought the Destiny Island was only going to have Final Fantasy characters? You don't know Kingdom Hearts that well. Well, gang, as we head outside of the first district, there's a lot to talk about and a lot to explore. I'm sorry this episode went on so long, but I really wanted to get Destiny Islands out of the way in one big one because it just felt necessary, really. It's not a whole lot to do, and yet there's a lot to talk about. In the next episode, though, we will be traversing Traverse Town. Trying to find our friends, maybe meet some new ones along the way. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Until then, guys, take care. Mm -hmm.